Hey everyone, and welcome to the third part of part C, Raybox Amigurumi. So we already show you how to make the nose and the head and the body from yesterday. Otherwise, if you haven't seen the previous video, you can click on the description below if you want to see the parts of the video in the begin with. And if you want to see the latest creation image, you can click on the links if you'd like to see the latest image. Also, if you'd like to donate at this Kofi website. So today, this video, I'm going to make the eyes and eyebrows and the mouth. And I forgot to tell you about material tool needs. So for this face, you will need to use the black markers for the black guy. And for his hair, you will need to use the pin cushion for hold his hair during this progressions to sew it over work. So here is the picture of what I made sleeping Rayman face that I placed those pins on this nose. If you like to make Rayman's head, you can pick any emotion you like. So that is it for the material to needs the third part of part C. Alright, so when you're ready to resume this tutorial, let's continue working on Raybox Amigurumi. Okay, I already have the first eye. You will need two equals. For this eye with the white yarn. To make the second knife, we'll have only one round. And first, we will make a slip knot. We will have six chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we will start for the second chain. We will go for four single crochet first. One, two, three, and four. In the next stitch of one left, we'll have three single crochet in the same point. That means we'll have one double increase. And we will repeat. We'll have four single crochet and one double increase to have 14 points. And the last one will be the one slip stitch. In the end, one slip stitch. Now one chain will more to secure it and finish off, cut the yarn and leave a very short tail to stick the eyes. But first you will need to make the eye color to embroider it to using the turquoise color. To where we start in the beginning of the round, it goes one and two to where we add for the, the second stitch. Now go ahead, insert the needle to where we add in the second stitch. When we start to insert, it goes under the stitch eye. And for the over embroidery to the down to where we will add in fifth stitch. It goes second, third, fourth, and fifth. That was after the second stitch that goes to the fifth stitch. That's the most important thing that you need to hide after working progress. Now go ahead, do an embroidering to make the eye color as many times as you want. Do it embroidered over, down, under, up the eye color between second and the fifth and three stitches apart a little further point, okay? I think that is enough for me. Now you can see the black marker on the lower eye color to make the black eye. When you finish, close the cap and put away the marker. And here is the eye color. Later on, we will do the white gemstone. Now go ahead, you can make the double knot to always secure it and then cut it off shortly. And that is it. And here is the eyes. That's pretty good. Let's go for the next step. For these eyebrows with the electric blue, and you will need two equals. And this is gonna be the only one round we'll have to make the slip knot. We'll have seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven and starting for the second chain we will have two slip stitch one slip stitch and two slip stitch at this point we will do the finish off leave a little bit of long tail to make a nice and neat for his eyebrows now go ahead insert the needle to the beginning of the chain And after that, make a double knot and cut it off shortly to stick the eyebrows. 
and that is it. And here is the eyebrows. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to join the nose to his face. Please pay attention to look at the stitch so you can see how I do that. We will start counting from this head in the beginning of the magic ring. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now go ahead, you can insert the needle to approximately in round 11. And now we're going to join this nose to this head. And once you got it adjoined to this nose, now go ahead, you can sew it over point by point, taking the front strand for one this remaining, if you have an electric blue, only to see his upper nose all the way to the left and getting close enough to his cheeks. And don't forget to put in a little bit more stuff inside his nose, okay? And don't worry about the beige yarn strings. Just keep it hidden. This nose needs to place where at this blue area face, it will not see the beige line. To make his nose orange to cover a half colors and also make sure his nose needs to be a very straight positions. That will be a look like this, okay? Once it got all of the completely closed with the electric blue. And now for the next thing you know, we will do the beige yarn. Okay, so for this under nose or jaw, the important thing is you have to pay attention to look at the stitch to where we have it here in round 16. For the last stitch that you need to sew it, his under nose to have half of the end of the stitch. Put a little bit more stuff if you need to fill it up with the polyester fibers. First, you will need to sew it his cheeks. Now go ahead, you can insert the needle. Do the same place as the stitches, okay? So make sure his cheeks will need a little bit of the stretch from his back of his head. Soon before I will count the stitch for you. Now go ahead, sew it over point by point all the way around his cheeks to make tensions and close enough to his blue line area and do the same progresses to sew it over under his nose all the way until the end to completely close, okay? You know, the truth is that his nose looks beautiful and also looks perfect for me as I really do. As I remember, Raymond's face looks very beautiful. I fell in love with his face, but except his mouth before. For that reason, sometimes it happens that his mouth looks untidy, but I fix that at once. We'll just have to focus on the nose to sew it over point by point until completely close. And I think I need to fill him up with a little bit more stuffing inside his cheeks. And principally, it is not necessarily to put a tiny bit of stuff inside his cheeks. Well, it looks like it's all good for now. So now I'm going to demonstrate to count the segment stitch on this back of this head. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 stitches apart what we need. Just leave it to the seven stitches apart. Now keep on going for that. Sew it over for these cheeks and finishing in the completely closed. Okay? Once you got it completely closed, now go ahead, insert the needle any place to finish off and accept that. Do not cut the yarn just because I'm going to teach you how to crochet his mouth. Okay, so we are in this left side of his cheeks to where we have in here in approximately in the last round. I'm going to use a crochet hook to make the ray box mouth. To look at the facing forward is ray man face to make it eye contact. Remember, it's just like ray man's mouth. Now go ahead, insert the hook to where we are in the close enough to his cheeks. And we will start to make one chain and eight single crochet across the stitch to the left. To make it as jaws, it goes one, sorry, and two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Now one chain and turn your work. We'll have two slip stitch. And starting from the second chain, we'll have two slip stitch. Then five single crochet. 
and two, three, four, and five. And the end, two slip stitch. So now this is the end of the second row. Uh oh, I running out the bait yarn, but don't worry, I got this yarn is just so long enough. And the next thing you know, I'm going to make his teeth with the white yarn. We will have only one row. I'm going to start to make a slip knot. We'll have 13 chains. Once you got 13 chains, check the teeth if you want to make a long or short. I decided to prefer the long term teeth to make a big smile. And now I'm going to start on the third chain. We'll have two single crochet. That's one single crochet. Two. And then we'll have two half double crochet. One. And two. One double crochet for the next stitch. Now insert the hook and take the loop. We'll have yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through two loops. For the next stitch, we'll have one double crochet increase. That means we'll have two double crochet in the same point. And the next point, we'll have one double crochet. Next point, two half double crochet. That's one du half double crochet and two half double crochet. In the end, we'll have two single crochet. One and two. For the very last point, we will do the one slip stitch, one chain, and finish off. Cut the yarn and leave a little bit of long tail to sew it, this teeth, and join in this under nose. For the last one, we'll have one slip stitch, and that is it. So here is the teeth. It's not that too bad. All right, let's go for the next step. And now for this teeth, just pay attention to look at this teeth in this mouth so you can see what I can do. I'm testing this with this teeth with this mouth. Now go ahead, you can insert the hook to right in the beginning to where we add in the slip stitch. Now go ahead, you can join his teeth to his mouth to do crochet. That will be a row number three. For this traditional, first you can do two slip stitch. Well, I will try to prefer to make two single crochet. You can do that too. Now first we'll do one single crochet. And two. And three. And we're in the middle of this jaw. We will have three single crochet in the same point. That means we will have one double increase. Remember, you need to hide this yarn after doing simultaneously a range in orderly. One. Two. And three. And four. If we have the two left of the stitch points, we'll have two slip stitch. One slip stitch and two slip stitch. At this point, we can do finish off with one chain and secure it. Then finish off, cut the yarn and leave a little bit of long tail to make a nice and neat to use a wood needle. All right, so now I'm going to join his teeth. Pay attention to look at the stitch so you can see what I can do. We will start to count in the beginning of the magic ring. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now go ahead, you can insert the needle approximately in round 11 of the last row. The one this remains, sew it over to the top stitch from its under nose. To take the stitch, then we could go down to the under nose and take the entire next stitch. So this is what it looks like. And a little stitch on this teeth, it will take entire stitches. Just finish the sew it over a stitch to this teeth and down next stitch to his under nose all the way to the left and completely close, okay? All right, so make sure you will need to hide these strings and make sure it needs to be secured to make it a nice and neat and a little bit more to close the stitch. Once you got it completely close, now go ahead, finish off any place in a white stitch in the area. And then we can cut it off, and that is it. But not exactly completely finished yet. But I got one something missing. The thing is you need to arrange his lips to become more like the solid stitches. Something like single crochet stitches. The truth is that his teeth 
are very good as I did before. For my first channel, I think it's fine. Okay, so if you need to arrange his lips, we will go insert the needle again to sew it over to the next stitch all the way there to the left cheeks. Okay? After this, make sure his lips and cheeks needs to be and make a nice and very straight to the make a big smile. So this is what it looks like. At this point, we will finish off to secure it and hide it any place where we at. And then we can cut it off. And that's it. Look at that. And here is the Ray Box teeth. Look at this one. Look how beautiful smile he is. So that's the result of the Ray Box smile. Look at this one. That is so cool. Beautiful smile. And that's it for today. I just got made it for this. I made for this eyes and this eyebrows and Ray Box teeth with the smile with the teeth. I really love this one. Also, I already just saw the join the nose in this face and the beautiful teeth. And that is it, guys. That was the third part of this part C. So for the next video, I'm going to make the hair and stick it the eyes and the eyebrows. So this will be the fourth part for the next video. For the rest of this body, to sew with the join the body parts will be the last video. And that is it. Once again, I'm going to upload the second video this evening for sure. And come back next time for more Raybox and Mikurumi from Raymond Legends. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click on the like button, subscribe, and activate the bell and share the video with your friends up below. By activate the bell, you receive the notification whenever I upload it, a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next part. Bye bye!